Hello students, how are you all? So this is the last part of our factorization exercise 11.5 where we will discuss about the division method. In this division method, the division factors are already given. All you have to do is just divide them. So 35x plus 28, that is the one part one. That should be divided by 5x plus 4. See, it is naturally not possible, but if we do it, factorization in the numerator, then it may be possible. So, what we can take as common factor in the numerator, that is 7. So, it will remain as 5x and the next part will remain as 4. See, magically, the all numerator and denominator part is pretty much equal. So, we can cancel them together and finally, my answer is 7. Very easy one. Okay. So, very few sums are here. We are going to do any next one. That is 3 part 2. In 3 part 2, what is given? That is 3p square. Okay. Plus 17p plus 10. That should be divided by p plus 5. But this portion cannot be factorized by any identity or any other method. So we need middle terms method over here. And how we can do that? Let me show you. Achha. What I just told you in the middle terms method, all you need the value of a which is 3 and the value of c which is 10. Let's break it up. 3 into 5 into 2. So 5 into 3 that is 15 and that is 2. So we know that 15 plus 2 which is 17. So just put the value 3p square plus 15 plus 2x plus 10. That is divided by p plus 5. So finally you are getting over here that is 3p square. I'm just doing the factorization in the numerator. So it is 3p square 15x plus 2x plus 10 divided by p plus 5. So all you got the idea over here. Right now, after grouping, you need to factorize. So three. Uh, I'm sorry, it is p over here, but mistakenly I have written over here x. So let me change it. It is p. It is also p, and that is also p. Okay, now it is done. So three p is common from the first one. So we got p plus five. And also from the second one, 2 is common, so p plus 5 is there, divided by p plus 5. Final answer is that p plus 5 is in common in the numerator and something is remained which is 3p plus 2. That also divided by p plus 5. Now it is very much clear to you, these two are going to cancel each other. So final answer is 3p plus 2. So that's it. Very simple. If you know the factorization very well, you can do the factorizing numerator. And after that, when you will get the factorization value, you have to divide it very easily. That is the all thing according to this topic. So thank you for watching. If you have any doubt, don't forget to write it in the comment section. Thank you.